Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. FSD Beta, version 10.4, delayed over late breaking issues. Long delivery wait times force Tesla to change its trade-in offer policy. Tesla spotted building a bunch of cars in wild new colors. Tesla Giga Berlin Brandenburg will kick off production with the Model Y performance, according to sources. And Elon Musk makes $21 billion coin flip and asks Twitter if he should sell 10% of his Tesla. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has announced that the next version of the full self-driving beta software has been delayed until at least Sunday. Version 10.4 of the software was supposed to be released Friday but has been pushed back because of late braking issues discovered on internal test vehicles. Without providing further details, Musk clarified that a fix has already been developed and should have been deployed earlier this morning. If the fix is successful and no further bugs are found, version 10.4 could be released to testers on Sunday. When it does get released, it will be a slower phased approach, with more owners receiving it as time passes. The new approach comes as a result of a bug in version 10.3 that led to false collision warnings and hard braking events that forced Tesla to roll back the update. Based on information provided by Musk earlier this week, one of the upgrades in version 10.4 is to the neural nets, which will have better object permanence. As with the previous version, which for the first time had detailed releases notes, the more complex improvements will be included with the update itself. Interestingly, the version 10.4 release notes have been leaked ahead of the official release. The release notes show a lot of improvements in different prospects. So it would be very interesting to see these improvements when the update officially releases. Moving to the next update, long delivery wait times force Tesla to change its trade-in offer policy. Tesla is seeing unprecedented demand for its vehicles, with delivery wait times for the Model 3 and Model Y recently extending out to almost one year. That huge time difference between placing an order and receiving a car has forced Tesla to change their policy around making trade-in offers on vehicles customers want to include with their purchase. Until this week, you could request a trade-in offer through Tesla's website even before purchasing a vehicle. The company accepted cars, trucks, vans and SUVs with the value, put port a new or use Tesla purchase. All you needed to do was fill out a form with the vehicle's details and you would receive an offer within a few days. In an update to the website yesterday, Tesla has removed the form and changed its policy around making trade-in offers. Now customers must first place an order, but even then, you can't request a trade-in offer until your new vehicle is close to being delivered. Tesla explains on the website that this is due to the offers expiring well before taking delivery of their new car. Tesla also suggests customers to check out existing inventory for a quicker delivery. Moving to the next update, Tesla spotted building a bunch of cars in wild new colors. Tesla has been spotted producing a bunch of cars in wild new colors out of Gigafactory Shanghai. Could these be the new factory wraps that the company teased? For a premium automaker, Tesla has very limited color options. It used to offer much more paint color options, but in an attempt at streamlining production, Tesla has significantly cut down paint options to just a handful over the last few years. Recently, the automaker has been teasing new colors enabled by its new paint shop at Gigafactory Berlin. But the automaker has been talking about another way to get new colors on your Tesla vehicles too. Last year, Tesla announced that it would be offering factory wraps in China on its official Weibo account. While Tesla made the announcement last year, we haven't seen any confirmed example of wraps done directly by Tesla. Tesla owners have been doing wraps on their cars for years through third party, but Tesla offering the service itself would be new. Now for the first time, Tesla has been spotted producing new cars out of Gigafactory Shanghai with brand new colors in a new drone flyover by Jason Yang. 
It's not clear if those are new paint colors or wraps, but the wide variety of new colors could point to the latter. Here's a closer look at some of those colors, which include light blue, turquoise and even pink. However, Tesla previously said that its wrap service would work through its delivery centers and not straight from the factory, which is the case here. Wrapping a car is not cheap, mostly because it's labor extensive, but there are efficiency improvements that can be achieved by specializing in specific models, like Tesla doing it for its own vehicles. If those new wild colors are from factory wraps, it would be interesting to see how much Tesla is charging for them, if it will expand to other markets. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Berlin Brandenburg will kick off production with the Model Y performance. Tesla is inching closer and closer to the opening of their newest factory, Giga Berlin Brandenburg. It was hoped their final approvals would be granted in November, but a review of objections to the project has to be repeated over concerns, the first review wasn't fair enough. That means the final stamp of approval likely won't come until December. While we wait for that to finally happen, we are learning more about how the company is planning to ramp production at the factory. According to an employee who spoke with German Tesla owner and enthusiast, Andreas Lute, the first vehicles to roll off the production line will be the Model Y performance. Until Tesla has been able to ramp production to a certain level, the company will still import long-range variants from China. The decision makes sense, as the performance variant is a high-margin car for Tesla and follows the same pattern when they launched the Model Y in the US in early 2020. Also, the first Model Ys will still have the 2170 battery cells. Elon Musk has already said that they will continue to import batteries from China until their battery factory at Giga Berlin is up and running. Moving to the last update, Elon Musk makes $21 billion coin flip and asks Twitter if he should sell 10% of his Tesla. Elon Musk has turned to the internet for a question. In a Twitter poll, posted around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Musk asked if he should sell 10% of his Tesla stock. Showing he was serious, and this was not one of his usual jokes, he followed up by noting he would abide by the results of the poll. The Twitter poll comes as Musk has come under some scrutiny due to unrealized gains in his stock portfolio as a potential means of tax avoidance. A billionaire tax has recently been proposed in Congress. The tax would focus on billionaires and would help pay for the Biden's administration's social and climate change agenda. Musk does not currently take a cash salary or bonuses from any of his companies. Thus, his only way to pay taxes is to sell stocks. According to reporting by Reuters, Musk's shareholding is around 170.5 million shares as of June 30. So, selling 10% of his stock would amount to close to $21 billion, based on Friday's market closing. As of now, over 2.5 million Twitter users have voted, with 56.6% supporting the sale and 43.4% not supporting the selling of his stocks. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.